So I'm here with Eric Kopit from Celestron, and we are going to be talking all about dew prevention. And Eric, you have a new dew suite here, all sorts of different things to help us keep the horrible dew off of our equipment. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, let's just, let's start talking about dew in general. So when using a Celestron Schmidt cast grain, it has the corrector lens up front, which in lots of parts of the country, you don't have to worry about dew at all. But if the temperature of the telescope goes below the dew point, then dew will eventually form on the corrector and it could end your night prematurely. So as a Schmidt Cassegrain user, depending on what part of the country is, you really need to have a dew prevention solution in mind. So we've created this suite of products to address that. So the, the, the simplest thing to do for dew prevention is to just use a dew shield. Um, and what that does is it, it covers the front of the telescope and slows down the radiative cooling so it, it, it'll take a much longer for the corrector to go below the dew, dew point. And in a lot of places on a lot of nights, that might be all you need, just the dew shield. Um, now we have a nice aluminum one and it clips right on the telescope. So it just, you slide it on, clip it on, really easy to do. It comes with the aluminum cap up front. So if you're imaging, it makes dew shield, uh, I'm sorry, it makes dark frames really easy to take. It also has the added benefit, right, of uh, any kind of stray light that would be coming in. You can kind of use this in addition to that. If you've got neighbors with lights, they won't turn off or something, uh, or you just want that extra bit of, uh, you know, stray light protection, it, it also provides that as well. Absolutely. This is shown on our Rasa telescope here, and it is such a wide angle telescope that we highly recommend, even if you don't have dew in your area, with a Rasa, you might want to use this as a lens shade primarily, even if dew is not a problem in your area. Now, one other cool feature beyond the cap, which we said we can use for dark frames, is it's fully compatible with our dew heater ring. As you can see, the cables from the dew heater ring exiting really cleanly from this uh, port, essentially, in the, in the cap. So we're going to take the cap off now. Let's go ahead and rotate the scope so we can see the ring a little bit better. Oh, yeah. So you can see it around the outside there and the cable's coming in. Exactly. So. Uh, the dew heater ring replaces the existing uh, Schmidt corrector retaining ring on your Schmidt Cassegrain. It's a really easy installation process that you only have to do once, and we have videos featuring me on YouTube to help you through the process, as well as the instruction manual included with the product. So once you install the ring, it lives with your telescope wherever you go. So the power and thermistor clips will just tuck away into their storage clips, just like that. They're out of the field of view, and you can put your cap on. So it's always there for you, it's always with you. So that's nice. Traditionally, people use dew heating strips around the outside of the telescope, which can solve the dew problem, but it's very inefficient power-wise because you're essentially heating the whole front of the tube to get the glass temperature up. We've solved that problem by basically heating the glass more directly so that it's more efficient with the power that way. Right, no more outside straps here to exactly. sit around on the scope. And you can't forget this trap either. So right. it looks better, it functions better, and it's always there with you. Now, we made it, if, if, you, use, if you just apply power to it, it's, it's wide open, it's always on, and that's great. But it'll eat your battery quite quickly if you're out in the field. If you're at home and you have AC power, maybe that's fine. Right. Um, so that's where the thermistor comes in. So if you, if you plug power and thermistor into our smart dew heater controllers, then the dew heater controller, let me turn the scope so we can see that a little better. The dew heater controller actually has an environmental sensor in what in this part of it called the bridge, which the bridge is thermally isolated from the rest of the enclosure and it has a, an air vent there. So you get a really accurate reading of the ambient temperature and humidity. Nice. A lot of competing products, it turns out they don't keep track of the humidity, so they can't accurately keep track of the dew point. They just use ambient temperature. So actually calculating the dew point can save you significant extra power as well. Right. So when, when the, the power and thermistor cables from the dew heater ring are connected to the smart power controller, the power controller calculates the dew point from the, as we said, temperature and humidity. And then the thermistor knows the temperature of the glass, essentially, on the corrector. Right. So it just heats it up enough so that the corrector glass stays above the dew point, no more. So it, it really preserves your battery power. It uses a minimal of power 
to be able to keep your telescope from free, uh, free from dew all night. Now, the dew controllers, we have, we have a couple dew controllers. We have one that can heat up to two rings or heating bands. They're compatible with third-party heating bands. And it also has one power output, essentially, to power your mount. Um, but the four times controller is a little bit more deluxe, and it has features that maybe people that are a little bit more advanced, or especially into imaging, would really appreciate. Now, it can handle up to four dew heater rings or strips, and has four, uh, it has a, a thermistor port for each of them. Now, if you're using a third party dew heating strap and you don't have a thermistor, we sell those separately and they're very low cost. So you can use your existing heating bands, you'll just need to tuck the thermistor under it to give it smart control essentially. Okay. So you can use up to four of those and it provides smart control for all of them with the thermistor. It has four power output ports, so it can power your mount and it can power all your accessories from the power of supply to this. And then in addition, it has an integrated USB hub. So you yes. can connect your filter wheel, your camera, all to this, power it from the, the USB hub, and then basically with one cable and one power, right. one power cable, power's union, you get your signal to and computer. All those other wires are above the mount and only those two wires going down. That's it awesome. really simplifies the setup to your power and your computer if you're using that. So, so we're really happy with the way that the, the, the suite of dew prevention products really fit together. And with this, we have a complete dew solution do prevention solution for every t every Schmidt Cassegrain Edge HD and Rossa telescope that Celestron produces, with a variety of options really that you can tailor to your your viewing situation and conditions. If do is a problem for you, there is a solution here with this new product line from Celestron. The do prevention system that they provide gives you smart control. It saves you battery life if you're in the field, and it gives you the opportunity to really reduce the number of wires on your astrophotography rig, if that's what you're doing. And that can be the difference between a night that is successful and a night that has to end early, unfortunately, because of dew.